Breaking news from Capitol Hill tonight. There was a final showdown over the Democratic Party's efforts to push through sweeping climate and energy legislation. Now, Republicans made a last-ditch stand against the bill. House Minority Leader John Boehner accused the Democratic leadership of dirty tricks. Now, I really hate to do this, but when you file a 300-page amendment at 3.09 a.m., the American people have a right to know what's in this bill right. and have a right to know what we're voting on. A vote is taking place in the House of Representatives right now. Luis Schiavone has the report. As day dawned on the House energy and climate change debate, the bill's opponent said it had been quite a night at the Rules Committee. Last night at 3.09 a.m., House Democrats filed a 309-page amendment. They were literally hot off the Xerox machine when they were handed into the Rules Committee at approximately sometime between 2 and 3 a.m. this morning. By day's end, a sweeping bill filled with tax measures arrived on the House floor for a vote at more than 1,200 pages. Not a great day for the Democratic process, said this public watchdog group. This is the kind of bill that's going to affect our, our economy on a, a massive scale, our climate, our national security, uh, and it's not the kind of thing to be taken lightly. The opacity of this process is, is, to be perfectly honest, it's infuriating. And so the Sunlight Foundation joined other unlikely allies of congressional Republicans like Greenpeace, the Congress of Racial Equality, Friends of the Earth, each with their own reasons, in opposing the bill. Heavily advocated by the Obama administration and congressional Democratic leaders, the bill would change the way Americans produce and consume energy. Stop this addiction! This bill has the ambition of the moon landing, the moral imperative of the Civil Rights Act, and the scope of the Clean Air Act all wrapped up in one. Under the bill, energy-producing polluters like fuel refineries and coal-fired plants would pay the price of their emissions through a system of allowances. Critics say that would make energy more expensive to producers and consumers alike. Only certainty under this bill is that Wall Street traders sophisticated enough to understand how these credits are traded will make millions. The Speaker's national energy tax is bad for our economy, bad for families who are already struggling to make ends meet and it will do nothing to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions. It's all pain and no gain. House Democrats produced a roster of dozens of bill supporters, including the AFL-CIO, the Consumers Union, and a number of energy companies. Kitty, this bill has just passed on a vote of 219 to 212. But we should say that Democratic leaders moved this bill through the House with the most fragile of support, even though it's a safe bet that many, if not most in Congress, didn't read the whole thing. And it's expected to face an even tougher test when it gets to the Senate. Kitty? Louise, that's a squeaker and a certain calculated risk, wasn't it? It was certainly a calculated risk, but by late afternoon, Republicans were saying that they didn't believe that they had the votes to stop it. President Obama was on the phone. House Democratic leaders were really pressuring their uh, members to, to turn up for this vote, even though people in Congress were inundated with telephone calls from their constituents pleading with them not to vote for this bill. There's even a provision in this bill that provides for unemployment benefits for people who are displaced because of what goes on in this bill. So they are expecting some significant unemployment to result from this bill, but they say there'll be jobs in alternative, uh, alternative energy. It's a very controversial measure, and it's going to face an even tougher test when it gets to the Senate. And we know we will be following it, and you will be following it very carefully. Thank you very much, Luis